This part presents three Mayan secrets that we didn't identify in the preceding parts. The first provides convincing evidence that the eye alignments are related to glyph messages. This large mural from Bonham Pak is interesting because some of the characters' eyes and some glyph boxes were purposefully erased. This is part of the mural. The line shows that the erased eye was part of a three-eye alignment. The purpose of the erasure was to negate the message the alignment conveyed. Note that figures in the bottom row have been greatly effaced. This suggests that the heads and erased garments contained unacceptable detail related to the eye alignment and some of the original glyph messages. On this part of the mural, four eyes have been erased. All erased eyes were probably involved in eye alignments. There are actually three alignments that almost overlap. The first spans the first three warriors. The second spans warriors three, four, and five. The last links warriors six, seven, and eight. The white glyph box in front of the third warrior is a replacement that doesn't fill the space of the original box. This part of the mural shows what may be the key to the erasures. The infant prince is on the left platform. His eye is erased, but it was involved in an alignment involving his guardian's eye and another alignment involving other members of the royal family on the adjacent triangular panel. Barbara McKenzie observed, these figures have had their eyes defaced, presumably to nullify the power of the mural. True, but the means the iconoclasts used was to eliminate alignments involving the eyes. A broader view of the mural shows that most of the glyph boxes above the characters have been scraped clean. Only three boxes remain on the far left. The one with the white background is probably a replacement of the original. There are six eye erasures in the bottom row. All erased eyes were in alignments. The facts of defacement clearly confirm not only that the alignments have meaning, but that the alignments are related to the messages provided by the glyphs. A possible scenario for the effacements is that the unacceptable message was political and said things that were later challenged. Possibly the infant prince died. Another possibility is that the mural predicted a celestial event that didn't occur. This may have been confirmed after 1100 when there may not have been resources needed to correct the mistakes by repainting the characters. So the priest simply removed glyph references and eliminated eye alignments involving the unfulfilled event. In any case, the alignments are part of a complex system of relationships. This is page 11 from the Dresden Codex. Its alignments may show the exact number for the plane of the ecliptic. That's the difference between the angle of the Earth's axis and the Earth's orbit around the Sun. The angle of the Earth's poles is about 23.5 degrees from the plane of the orbit. The angles for the three central lines on page 11 are minus 23 degrees, 0 degrees, and plus 23 degrees. The right screen shows an alignment that goes through both turtle eyes. It is about one half degree on the plus side of the main line, making the left side about one half degree more than the 23 degree line shown. The left side would show the exact angle for the plane of the ecliptic. 23.5 degrees. This may be an accidental circumstance, but it may also be an intentional correction. This is page 24 of the Dresden Codex. It may reveal the exact number the Maya used for computing when Venus appears as the morning star on repeated occasions. This period is slightly less than 584 days. The Venus table presents multiples of 584, 
starting with 2920, which is 5 times 584. The date shown for 2920 is wrong. Another apparent mistake on the page is the number 9100. It is off by 260 days and should be 9360. But the apparent mistakes may be clues for a hidden relationship. If we multiply the number with the wrong date by the apparently wrong number, we obtain 26,572,000 days. Now we divide 26,572,000 by the exact number the Maya may have used for the Venus cycle. That number is 583.923. Indeed, the answer is a completed revolution of Venus, off by only about 6 seconds. So the answer is 45,506 complete Venus cycles. That means that the number 26,572,000 would be a completed revolution of the following cycles the Maya used. A 260-day cycle, the sacred calendar. A 365-day cycle, the solar calendar. A 364-day cycle, used for lunar reckoning. A 584-day cycle, the Venus calendar, a 583.923 cycle, the exact number for Venus. If the Maya did not multiply 2920 by 9100, it remains a remarkable coincidence that the answer is a completed revolution of 583.923 days. In conclusion of this series, we have shown a variety of secrets concealed in Mayan art, primarily the alignments and intentional mistakes in the anatomy of characters. We have shown alignments and mistakes in three codices and in temple art. But we have not suggested the next steps in finding answers to the many questions this series has raised. For suggestions about these steps, See Finding Answers to Mayan Secrets. We hope you found this series interesting and provocative.